Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to show you how to go from here to here by just using the tone curve feature in Lightroom. So let's get started. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Asad and this is a channel all about cinematography, photography and we create a lot of Lightroom presets every week and I'm showing you my Instagram right now. This is the look that we created last week. So if you're interested, go check this out. I'm going to leave the link in the description uh, of this video. So what is Tone Curve? So Tone Curve is basically a tool that allows you to adjust brightness of any given area of an image, whether it will be the shadows, midtones, highlights, uh, darkest black or you know the whitest whites in an image you can either do that by using the rgb curve as a whole or you can use individual channel like red green and blue and you know you can make adjustments there to add a bit of color or remove a bit of color from each area of the image now why these three random colors like red green and blue so to understand this better these are the colors that are considered primary colors for digital images and why do we have these because human eye have three different color receptors one for blue one for green color and you got it one for the red color so when we created the digital photos or digital imagery we decided to have these three primary colors for every image so basically when you are looking at these images, it's always or like, you know, any image, digital image, it's always a combination of these three colors. All the other colors that you see, they are derived from these three primary colors in every situation. So let me open up a gradient and show you how actually it works. This is a tone curve. So let me remove these points first. Okay, on the far right, we have the brightest area of this image. So if I start bringing this down, you can see it's completely black. So we made it completely black. And on the left side, the bottom, if we start dragging it up, it becomes the whitest white. So in the middle, we have midpoint, then we have highlights, and then we have shadows here. Now, let's say if I drag the midpoints up, your image is going to become a little bit brighter. And with this point only this area is being impacted the shadows are intact the highlights are impact, intact as well so that's why the points are there let me fix this up uh, now let's play with the shadows see this if i bring this all the way down my blackest blacks or the shadows are completely gone and if i take it up you have the opposite reaction same thing with the highlights if you want to bring the highlights down you that see that the image is impacted from that area only but everything else is staying intact so you know if i want to give it a little bit of fade i'll just move this last point up which means like there's no blacks left in the image and now you can see that the blacks are back so that's how it's impacted we can also do that by playing with individual channels so again we we, we went over the tone curve and the colors in the beginning the circle so you can see that like you know if you want to remove a little bit of red and bring a little bit of cyan color we can you know play with this curve and bring you know these uh, colors in as well so you know that's another way of looking at this and again like you have the same uh, points here too you can create any, as many points as you want and you can touch a part of an image rather than impacting the whole uh, image so if you want to create some uh, color in the highlights that's how you would do it i mean I, I, I use this all the time in my edits and my presets that i create for you guys so let's pick up green color now let me show you some examples here so as you can see the you know effects of uh, colors in, uh, you know when we touch the far right and far left and you know i showed you the extreme examples again like you know if you want to add some color to the shadows or some color to the highlights or midtones. That's how you normally would do it. Okay, and like it's a very, very powerful tool if you use it right. So, and you know, these uh, things are, you know, look gonna look good when you stay like, you know, very subtle with these changes. You, you don't wanna have extreme, extreme kind of, you know, editing approach, then it doesn't look nice in my opinion. 
so again uh, I'm showing you some examples in the blue color what can you do and if you want to add a little bit of fade to the shadows you can do that and it will come with a color as well right okay let's dive into an actual image and I'll show you how I edit my picture so again so starting from the curve I created midpoint shadows and we also created the highlight point for highlights and I'm gonna bring uh, the mid tones down a bit shadows and highlights I'm gonna play with those so let's fix the highlights and shadows okay Let's go to individual colors. So I'm gonna go to the blue channel. I'm gonna show you the example. See, like if you go extreme, what color, what kind of color ranges you can get. And then I'm gonna add a bit of color to the shadows only. The red channel now. And again, I'm gonna add a little bit of cyan color to my highlights. And see this extreme example as well but like you know, I'm going for the cinematic kind of film look okay, I'm gonna go for next channel and as you can see like we can add a little bit of color to here as well again showing you guys extreme example of like the color range so you can select based on your liking you can see that so i'm just gonna add a little bit of color in the shadows and i think that should be good for this picture i'm just gonna create a little bit of fade okay so guys as you can see we have edited this picture just using the curves and we did not use any settings at all so let me show you a before and after and you can see a big difference as you can see in the contrast and overall picture and everything so this is very very powerful tool uh, more you practice with it better you're gonna become uh, when it comes to editing pictures and it works the same way in most editing software let me show you another example so wherever you have the curves right you know it's pretty much the same concept for digital photography so let's just uh, create some points on this one as well. Let me just show you what kind of look we can achieve and then I'll try to copy and paste these settings. And you can see we didn't touch anything at all. We just played with the curves and three basic primary colors. Uh, so let's keep on editing. See before and after on this. Let me go to the individual channel as well. I'm gonna create a little bit of a film kind of look. Add a little bit of color to the shadows. Okay, I'll pick the green channel now. Pretty much for your liking. Make the adjustments. And I'll do the same thing with the blue channel. Okay, I think this is pretty close to the look that I created I think uh, a year ago for you know a series that I did on Instagram I call it the uh, New York film look okay anyway so let's apply these settings copy these settings and apply them here see that just using the curves you have achieved so much so you know like this is a again a very very powerful tool within lightroom so try to master that and you know don't forget to show me your results put some comments down below in the video and let me know what you guys think about it and i'll see you guys in my next video until then stay safe guys and goodbye